My name is Nate Sasko, and I am joined here by the cast of Aquarium, Caitlin Burns and Steve Judy. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Um, so, Steve, um, I, I think that this film almost started as your brainchild, right? Like, I mean, it's a collection of a lot of people to come together to make a film, but you had the idea for it. So tell me about, you know, where this film came from. Yeah, I just, I had the idea, that I wanted to tell the story of a relationship. There's a lot of films about relationships, right? Uh, but I was particularly interested in the story of the end of a relationship, the end of maybe a good relationship that just ran its course, you know what I mean? Um, two people that they have their own stuff going on uh, that they need to figure out, and they maybe just can't figure that out together, you know what I mean? I think that's super relatable, and uh, yeah, that's exactly where it started, for sure. Awesome, and Caitlin, um, I mean, Steve writes this, or creates this thing. I, you had a, is it Brooke Whaley, I believe, wrote it, correct? Yeah, I can't write worth anything. Like, I cannot write at all. Well, you sure can act, and that's what we asked <laughs> you to you. do. Um, so, uh, the script gets made, or how, when did you come in in the process? Did you know that he was writing this film, that he was interested in you playing, or did he give you a script and say, like, this is for you? Uh, he called me up one day and was like, I, I have a script. I'm turning it into a film. And he offered me the part of Kathy. And I was pretty shocked. And I was like, wow, you just put all this together. Like, it was pretty amazing given like our like upbringing in West Virginia. We didn't have a lot of film growing up. Um, but you always found a way to like do the best you could with your skits when we were in high school. So it was just really cool to see you do a project at such a bigger scale and I was just really happy to be a part of it so I accepted on the spot so you, have you all been working together for an extended period of time you've done skits in high school did you were you in any of those I was not in any of those <laughs> oh, okay. I, I was curious did she did watching see, them the, I was a big fan well you get I to see the fan. leveling up process of like dumb skits in high school not to call them dumb sorry I also made dumb skits oh in high they school. were dumb M mine were too we, we can compare <laughs> afterwards we can actually screen those after your movie no we can't <laughs> <laughs> no we can't um but it's cool to see the elevation of a project or somebody's work you know to go from like silly things that we filmed on an iPhone to like now this is a, this is a production this is a large production talk about putting it together you know you have this idea you get a script then then what happens yeah so well first of all i went to school at marshall university for theater and while i was at marshall in Hun huntington west virginia um i got to meet so many talented people uh that also did film and like there's so many people like like caden tooley who's like so good at what he does like he's great with the camera uh whether it's photography or or video or he's directed his own films he's fucking amazing i don't know if i can curse Oops. please please okay, okay, uh, actually cool. only if you're saying nice things about other people can you say fuck. oh great great cool. great yeah so i can't say fuck Caden. no i'm just kidding <laughs> no he's... fucking love Caden. yes Tully exactly is... exactly okay. he's yeah. so great um but i actually met him just in a directing class i took i think that's exactly where we met and i was like this guy's cool and it was like that just like building those relationships just like having these people here and there that i was like i would love to do something with these guys i don't know when i will and it happened after I graduated. I moved to Seattle and I had this idea for the film and I thought of Caden and Caden was the first person. Um, and he reached out to Jason and like we got a little team together. Um, and yeah, it was amazing how everyone just like took it away from me, it, like gladly, like that's what I wanted and like made it into something that I could have never done like by myself. You know what I mean? It's a super exciting time to make films in West Virginia because there's so many excited, like, creative young people here who just want to, like, throw together a project and spin it up really fast. Um, Caitlin, so whenever you got to read the script then and you're thinking about this character, what were your initial thoughts of, like, the project as a whole? I thought it was really well done. Like, I thought it was very beautiful, the way they portrayed the implosion of a relationship because that could be so messy, but they just sort of, like, romanticized it. Um, the lead character, Noah, he definitely romanticized their, their relationship. Mm -hmm. Maybe I think a little too much. Um, and so I think that's pretty much the catalyst for the, you know, the bomb dropping on that. Yeah. I think, I think also just speaking on like a, a bomb dropping that's like prevalent in the, in the film, uh, something I love about film, like my favorite thing in a movie is like metaphor and that's another thing with this film uh it's like a 
big metaphor for everything. Like there's so many things you can look at and, and take and like maybe things are real, maybe they're not. Who knows? It's kind of it can be taken either way. There's a bit of an abstraction as to what exactly is happening. I think you're in and I mean I don't want to put like thoughts onto your film, but like it seemed almost intentional that I'm not really sure fully the context of the events happening outside of the space that we're in. Uh, for anybody who's watching right now who hasn't seen the film, which hopefully you will be able to soon on Vandalia TV, fingers crossed, um, that the film largely takes place in a uh, a bomb shelter, functionally, right? Uh, safe to say largely the film takes place there. Um, it did a really great job of making me feel isolated by, like, <laughs> halfway through. Is that is that how you all felt? Like, what was the like on set? I can only imagine how just intense that would have felt. You want to take that? Yeah, and then you can you can take. I would love away. to hear from both of you. Yeah, I would love to hear from from Caitlin as well. Uh, yeah, it definitely felt isolating, and like this is the type of film that it it really depends on. As an actor, everyone has their own methods and like what they do to get into character. And these two characters are like, they are just they have reached their end point. You know what I mean? And so they are just like. They're not having fun, <laughs> basically. Yeah. And so, like, getting in it that It almost seems like they didn't have fun before they went into the, the bomb shelter, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they didn't. I don't know. I don't maybe know. it was just doomed to fail <laughs> yeah. at the beginning. You know? Who knows? COVID saved my marriage, and it seems like maybe being in isolation sometimes can make or break you, if that makes sense. So. Yeah. Yeah, but what, what were you going to say? Uh, I was going to say um, the director, Jason, he took bringing that element of the story very seriously, I would say. Um a lot of times he would have us work in the bunker. Mm -hmm. And I loved that coming from a theater background. It felt very much like I was doing a play instead of a film. Right. And that was an amazing thing to have um, that I could work in the space and really feel the element. And he made it almost like it was it was four walls and you were stuck in it. And, and he did such a great job of really just those feelings. It's, it was hard to tell if I was acting or if it was real sometimes. So it was, it was yeah, incredible. I think by like minute 23, I'm like, I'm in there with them. Yes. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, uh, I, I do think it it's nice as an actor to be able to exist in the space that you're portraying. Production design on this film is just like beautiful. Um, one, Caden totally did an amazing job shooting it. But as far as the space existing, you were pointing at Emily. Oh, yeah. Emily here did an amazing like emily come on camera <laughs> <laughs> she's like no no, no, no. she has left the theater like uh, i cannot describe to you like I, I envisioned the space right just in my head mm -hmm. but like it was it's up to them right that to like create and like walking in crazy like i was blown away at like yeah. what they were able to do the attention to detail was incredible yeah you can see it in almost every shot just how much it, i don't know world building even if you want to call it that too like just knowing that there's something outside that door that you're not allowed to see also adds this level of mystery mm -hmm. uh so y you all come into this film what was the production schedule like how long did it take you all to actually like shoot this now this is a little while ago i'm trying to remember if it was was it one whole week or was it two weeks i felt like two weeks <laughs> i think it was two weeks two weeks that. together you filmed it in where did you film it? In West Virginia? Mm -hmm. Here okay. in Huntington. Okay, awesome. Yeah, and uh, the school, actually the college here, they let us use uh, a building, an old building, where they had that room that we used for the bunker. They they allowed us to use oh, that awesome. space. Yeah. And uh, we found an old high school for the gym scene earlier. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was all filmed here. Everyone that worked on it is from here, I believe. Uh, yeah, it was just really awesome and a, and, a, and a big thing about that as well is like when I, when I was making this a, a big point that I had when I would have all these meetings with everyone is I was making this originally because I wanted to act in something mm -hmm. right as an actor I was like I want to do something that like is fun mm -hmm. and uh I wanted that same thing for everyone like whether it's camera like do like if you have some ideas for like a shot like do it like I want people to take what they're doing and run with it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I wanted it, everyone to feel like it was like their film, you know, as well. I think that that conveys, it feels like everybody really got to sink their teeth into the thing that they love to do and it really shows. I mean, Caitlin, for you going in, well, both of you acted in it, so I do want to hear from both of you, but um, Caitlin, preparing for this role, like what are your thoughts going in about like making this character and some of this, the decisions that you're going to make? I think there was there's a lot to relate to. I think every every woman and man has had like uh, their first relationship and maybe they're like 
it like burns bright and then sometimes it burns out quicker um and so there's a lot to a lot to work with on that element of it um and i just i like the way that both the characters were written because to me they're both very flawed individuals and they had like like no one was at fault by the end of it it just it needed to happen um and i think that was really beautiful element to take away yeah i mean flawed people in a tight space you know people in tight <laughs> with the threat of a bomb you know, like mm -hmm. you have everything that you would want in a movie yeah. so whenever people are watching this movie uh what kind of takeaways do you want them to have about either the relationship about production in west virginia about anything uh definitely the point on west virginia for sure i love the idea of um of local filmmakers like kind of starting from i mean everyone's done a lot of stuff but like we're also like doing it from we don't have a big budget to like work on and we're making something that's like worthy of a big budget you know what i mean like uh that's so cool to to gra gather up a group of passionate people and like just make something mm -hmm. that's really really cool uh take away though from the audience maybe um i think there's a lot to relate to with like just relationships in general um and I, I think a big thing is I wanted to do something a little different with characters. Like my my character Noah that I play is controlling in the film, and uh, I feel like typically you would take that and like a a controlling person would be angry, but he's like an angry person. But instead, he's really even though he's got the control in the situation, Kathy, his partner, um, who she or Caitlin plays uh is kind of the stern one the one that has like so even though i have the control she's I, I, my character's kind of scared of her and like kind of sad and like not he's weak like he's a he's just got he wants something that he can't have and she wants the same thing and um yeah i don't know I think I can see that whenever you know, whenever you frame it that way too, it's like this guy is internalizing pain at her sort of like their disagreements, not necessarily like explosive anger, but it's more so like I don't know how to navigate this situation. It seems like neither of you know how to navigate the situation of a bomb shelter, you know, like as far as the the characters. Um, uh, Caitlin, what about you? Do you have any thoughts about what you want the audience to take away from either your performance or the film? I just love making. Um my favorite content to make is anything that someone can take something away from it. If there was like a relatable element in it, um, some someone walks away with some thought that's different than when they walked in. That's always what I want to do with any of my work. And as for um, like acting and film in West Virginia, I would really love to see that grow. There are these pockets of like these amazing artists and culture all over the state. Um, but I don't think a lot of people outside know that we're here. And so I would love that to just keep growing and keep keep going. And sometimes it takes one person to be like, oh, um, I'm doing this thing. And then it grows and grows and grows. And that was really nice to see like that you were really taking this initiative on that and bringing everyone together to make something amazing. Yeah, and I hope also people might see it and be like, who who did the camera for this? Who wrote this? Like, mm -hmm. And like work with them. They're great. They're all really talented. Everyone we have is such an amazing artist on it in their own right. And it really conveys in the film. I think it's super exciting that, you know, you were in Seattle whenever you created this. You were from West Virginia, mm -hmm. came back to do it here. You were based somewhere else also. Yeah, I was in Atlanta at the time. Yeah, uh, came back here to do it. And, and again, it's it's so exciting that you can see these people grow out of West Virginia and take this like experience that they have here, go somewhere else, and then the excitement to still come back and say like, we can make something really cool here is super exciting. Um, do either of you have anything that you are working on right now that's coming out after uh, Aquarium will be released that you can talk about? Yeah, I, I can start. Um, yeah, I'm uh, everything I'm doing, I could talk about. It's not anything crazy, crazy big. Have but either I, of you signed an NDA? <laughs> uh, not recently. I guess you can't say. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't. Uh, no comment. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Right now, I'm I'm working on an indie feature. It's called Thirty Six Hours, and it's going to be releasing, I I believe, next summer. Uh, so it's a it's a feature. So it's a uh, big long movie. I got lead in it, which is really cool. Uh, I've been training with knives and. Uh, can you show combat? us right now? <laughs> I don't have any. Do you have a knife? <laughs> <laughs> uh no i just had a uh fight scene uh no spoiler this is at the beginning i think this is okay 
I had a fight scene where I was in nothing but a towel and oh, okay. a knife. So that was interesting. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it should be coming out in about a year. Yeah. Or so, maybe a little less than that. Uh, that's what I'm currently currently working on. Right after Thanksgiving, I've got two more weeks of that. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. What about you, Caitlin? That's a tough act to follow. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. But um, I have been exploring voiceover okay. during the strike, um, which now has is coming. To yeah, me. yeah. We, that's why we can talk about movies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, that's really exciting too. But while film was slow, I sort of was experimenting with like um, doing voice the world of voiceover um, and just stuff with that commercials. Um, different products uh, that's been a really fun medium um and just really cool to see how the the audio plays into it and how how you can manipulate that um and use that as your medium uh i didn't have that in school so it was a whole new skill to learn and then projects i'm working on now i'm actually writing one or two scripts that i would love to shoot in west virginia and so that's I'm, awesome i'm hoping that more of that, that happens yeah yeah Oh. Awesome. Well, um, I'm super excited to, one, screen this film tonight for an audience of people in a beautiful theater at Foundry Theater. Thank you to Foundry Theater for allowing us to hold this event here. I'll say the event's sponsored by them. There's no rules. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but I'm super excited to show the film. I'm super excited for your all's uh, work. If you want to see Steve Judy uh, in a towel with a knife, uh, you can either watch a film next year or come to the after party tonight. Is that something <laughs> you want to see? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. We'll find out. Actually. Yeah, we'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> Depends on the towel, actually, and the size of the knife. Uh, what color is the towel? Question mark. Mm. Uh, it's blue. Ugh, uh, yeah, can't do that. And I'm only a green towel <laughs> and a machete person. Uh, but thank you all for coming, and um, super excited to talk to you. Yeah. Thank, thank you so you. much. It was a lot of fun.